Yet another Western country has succumbed to the poison that is fascism. Just a couple weeks ago, an Algerian migrant stabbed multiple children in the streets of Dublin. As a result, that night, angry Irish people started a riot in the city and lashed out against the government's mass migration efforts. This effort is characteristic of what's happening across Europe. Governments import massive numbers of unvetted, military-aged men from war-torn countries. A swell idea. So the Irish government listened to its people's concerns and agreed to stop importing hateful military-aged men, right? Well, actually just the opposite. Irish officials have painted the concerned Irish as extremists. Where have we heard that before? And the Prime Minister said that this facilitates the need for more laws criminalizing hate speech online. The platforms who have a responsibility here, and they do, uh, there's also the individuals uh, who post messages and images online uh, that stir up hatred and violence, uh, and we need to be able to use laws to go after them individually as well. Conor McGregor, the Irish fighter, has said that the mass importation of violent migrants will destroy the country. The Irish authorities have opened an investigation into him just for saying that online. The new bills that are in the process of becoming law in Ireland target online hate speech. It criminalizes any hate speech that authorities deem hateful. So if you simply post on X that you don't think Algerian migrants should be imported to Ireland and get handouts, you're hateful and will be thrown in jail. It's also criminal to possess hateful material, meaning that if you have a meme in your camera roll on your phone, you are in violation of the law and will be imprisoned. But why? Because your speech may make someone feel uncomfortable. And if your views on other people's identities go to make their lives unsafe, insecure, and cause them such deep discomfort that they cannot live in peace, then I believe that it is our job as legislators to restrict those freedoms for the common. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Government officials in Ireland are curtailing your God-given rights so everyone can feel comfortable in the age of the internet. When your rights can be limited in a number of weeks for the idea of protecting someone else's feelings, You've never had any rights in the first place. Alright, so let's talk about hate. An Irish government council member said, I'd like to see them shot in the head or bring the public in and beat them until they die. About the rioters in Dublin. I wonder, will he be reprimanded for hate speech? You know, publicly inciting violence? Ireland's prime minister actually has a deep-seated hatred for white people. In fact, his whole platform is making Ireland less white. His vision is to import non-white people and put them into positions of power. Well, because we do need uh, a generation of young people growing up in Ireland who are people of colour to see black and brown school principals, judges. Racists and the far right will blame whatever problem the country is facing on migrants. This is what fascists do. They weaponize the government against their own people and beat them into submission. Any opposition is jailed. Under fascism, you have no right to oppose the government's will, or you will be crushed. Ireland is not the first European nation to go down this road, and it likely will not be the last. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Minds Over Media. Until next time.